Welcome, everybody. You know, it's really great to look around the room and see people who are interested in promoting diversity and inclusion. And there's, there's an amazing group of people in this room tonight. So congratulations to all of you. Um, we understand this event honors just a small percentage of the many people in Fort Collins who strive for equity and inclusion, but we think it's worthwhile to acknowledge a sampling of that group. And that's what we're doing tonight. We welcome this year's five award recipients. And we thank also and welcome your families and friends who have come to support you. It's kind of a, it's kind of a great thing that you were nominated and chosen to be the award recipient this year. And by the way, we've had more nominations this year than we've ever had, which made our job difficult. It was really hard. So if we chose you, congratulations. And there were lots of other people who probably deserve the awards too. <laughs> but we chose you, so that's a good thing. Thanks to those who submitted the nominations for the awards and for helping us celebrate the people in this room. The mayor pro tem, Jerry Horak, would like to say a few words. And so I'd like to introduce mayor pro tem, Jerry Horak. Good afternoon. And I echo Vic's words that I think it's great the folks are here uh, who, who care about this, the folks who've nominated people. Uh, and uh, this award celebration is a pretty special event. Um, at, as the notes here tell me, it's been going on for over 30 years, which I know because I remember doing this in uh, 1984, 85, whatever it was when I was mayor, doing it back then. But it was interesting. No one knows when it started. And it seems like we have a little history chronology to do that somebody needs to do for the uh, Human Relations Commission, which would be helpful. So anyway, the word's been out, the word's about acceptance of diversity in our community, uh, to accept that and, and really uh, reach out. And the HRC, to me, has done a great job of doing that. It sponsored this award and really tried to go out in the community and make, it, make a difference in Fort Collins. If I remember right, why it started, I think it was back in the 70s, but it could have been a little later than that was because of the, some of the issues that were in Fort Collins and wanted to make sure that it was a more diverse community. It was one of the, the early commissions that was formed. I know there was also a water board, uh, obviously a planning and zoning board, things like that. But it was one of the early commissions that was formed to deal with what people then uh, thought was uh, issues that needed to be addressed. I want to congratulate this year's recipients uh, for the volunteer work that you've done to improve things in Fort Collins. Each of you has, has truly earned and deserved the award, and to, as Vic mentioned, there are more nominees this year, which really means that. So you know for sure you weren't the only person in the category. There are others. Um, <laughs> that, you know, we really do want and, and we want to work for uh, Fort Collins that is a welcoming community uh, for persons of any race, age, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, religious affiliation, and ability status. Thanks for helping to build the bridges and to fortify that unity. Your actions, and I really want to say not your work, but really your actions. Your actions and commitment have helped raise the awareness of this community. I'd also like to offer help, uh, heartfelt thanks to the HRC for reaching out to the public, hosting the event, and continuing to discuss, uh, discuss sometimes difficult issues that the HRC has brought up. And that's exactly why the HRC is around the Human Relations Commission. Make sure that this community, that this council, uh, that this organization is a dealing, dealing with difficult issues. Now I turn the page. The old politician joke, and I firmly believe. No, um, <laughs> no, I want to extend a, a sincere thanks to all those in attendance today. I'd also like to thank those who submitted those, who who took the time to complete the applications and submit them. Without without those folks who did that, there wouldn't be any 
awardees today because we'd have no nominations, therefore no awards. So without the work that you did, and I assume some of you will, who, who uh, uh, folks who were nominated did not receive an award will probably continue that same good work and probably next year there would be another nomination adding on to their service to the community. And lastly, I applaud all the nominees for all their efforts in the community to make an inclusive community. A couple things I want to point out, we have Council Member Overbeck here, Council Member Martinez, and by the way, I forgot to say the mayor, I'm proud to represent him today. He's in China today for business uh, with Colorado State University. Uh, so I just want to thank all those who came, and now it's time to move on to the awards. Oh, one more, I forgot, one more. So the best part of this, I'm sorry, and the Commission on Disability, so they call these the Mayor's Awards, right? So my, to my knowledge, no mayor has ever had anything to deal with the awards, the criteria, or anything else but helping handing them out. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. My name is Joe Simodi. I'm one of the uh, HRC members. I'm a proud uh, HRC member, and it's been such an honor to be working with the HRC for the last year. Uh, I've had a little hand in the awards and helping out in, in creating the awards, and I'm here just to share a little bit of the energy around the actual award that uh, the uh, recipients will be receiving today. Um, we wanted to give the award to uh, you in a, more of a special way, It'd give you more of an energetic award, if you will, rather than a plaque uh, with your name on it. So uh, I took some time to find an artist in New York City. Uh, his name is Peter Coley. Uh, he's originally from uh, Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. Uh, and as you can see, his painting is uh, right next to me, uh, and it's expressionistic, uh, it's abstract in style. Uh, but why I chose Peter Coley was because um, his art has been featured in both America and Canada, New York City specifically, for our organizations like Save the Children Fund, uh, Sanctuary for Families, and the Global Housing Foundation. I thought his work as an artist was really representational of the kind of work that we're trying to do as HRC Commission. So I just wanted you to, I, I wanted to read the letter that he wrote personally uh, for each one of the recipients, and it will be on the back of your, um, your art. So you'll have this to remember uh, uh, for future uh, time. And this is the letter that he wrote you. In honor of this year's Human Relation Award, I have been commissioned to create a piece of art that represents its meaning and inspiration. The painting uh, that evolved and is entitled Gathering consists of many colors, shapes, and textures. Gathering is a coming together of these elements to form a unifying experience of inclusion. My vision and inspiration for this painting came from the concepts that a community contains many of these colors and shapes and textures as well. Your commitment to the community of Fort Collins and your efforts towards acceptance and diversity within it are the very center, are at the very center of a strong community and are also reflected at the center of this painting. So you can see there how it all sort of comes together more brightly in the middle. What emanates out from that place of integrity and generosity has the possibilities of reaching and touching countless individuals. I offer my congratulations to you on this very special honor and hope that this painting will help to inspire you and others to continue in your service towards community. Sincerely, Peter Coley. So that was his energy providing, uh, given around this award, and I'm very pleased now to welcome Nancy Telez to the stage so that she can uh, read the first, uh, and introduce the first recipient. The HRC Youth Award for 2017 goes to Herman Chavez, who is a senior at Rocky Mountain High School. He plays a significant role at Rocky. He's president of the GSA and he's an officer of the LGBT club, which supports treating all people with respect and kindness. He's also a peer counselor at Rocky. And uh, in that role, he is available uh, to any students who need someone to talk to one, one on one. Um, in addition to that, he, uh, as part of that, that role, he uh, does presentations on sexual assault in various classes at Rocky. Um, 
He's, Herman is described by his nominator as one of the most sensitive, caring individuals in the school. He is talented musically. He has great ex, uh, success academically and is planning to study education at college next year, something that I'm cheering for. <laughs> Herman, please come forward to receive this well-deserved award. Hello, everyone. Um, I am deeply and incredibly honored to be able to receive uh, this award tonight. Um, every time that I'm able to step in front of one of the clubs that I lead at Rocky or am able to talk to a student, um, I'm never thinking about what will happen in the future for me or what will happen in the future for those that I'm able to speak to now. I'm always thinking about the impact that happens every day on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm so incredibly grateful that along with that, I can be able to be seen in a community when I can be the voice for other people who are underrepresented. So again, thank you all so much. Good evening, my name is Johanna Ulloa Giron. Um, each year, we get exceptional applications for the HRC awards, and we're given the difficult task to select one person that will receive the Human Relations Commission Adult Award. The award is given to individuals who promote diversity, equity, and social justice in our town. Tonight, we are honored to give the 2017 individual HRC award to Dr. Janina Farinas. <laughs> Dr. Farinas is originally from Guatemala and has been with us in Fort Collins for the last two years. In this short amount of time, Dr. Farinas has been an incredible force in our town. Her personal and professional life are a catalyst in the promotion of social and racial justice. As a pediatrician neuropsychologist at the Colorado State University, she has created program and services with a multicultural lens that aims to help all families. Let me share just one example. For a long time, our community has identified a need for therapeutic and culturally responsible programs for Latinx families and children. Dr. Farinas, with her incredible experience working in mental health and family services, created a cultural proficient program called La Cocina that emphasizes and promotes mental health for family care. La Cocina provides no-cost therapeutic services to Latinx families using a community-based and in-home provision of services. This program serves a vulnerable population that is an integral part of our community. We are in awe by all the amazing work that Dr. Farinas has achieved in such a short amount of time, and we are very fortunate to have such an inspiring individual working so diligently towards equity and diversity in a community. Es de verdad un honor y un placer para mí otorgarle este merecido premio a una mujer tan talentosa, creativa y compasiva como lo es Janina. En nombre de nuestra comunidad y de la Comisión de Relaciones Humanas de Fort Collins, por favor, ven y recibe este premio. Thank you, everybody. I'm so moved, um, Johanna, by your words. Thank you. It's true, I've only been in Fort Collins for two years, but I feel very much part of this community. And I feel very much that um, the problems that plague us are problems that have a solution. And I want to be part of that solution. So I want to tell you that tonight, I really want to share this award with very amazing people that really were with me at the very beginning of starting La Cocina. It's been a need in our community to have Spanish language mental health support services for many, many, many years, long before I even got here. But last year, uh, or I should say at the beginning of this year, myself and three students from CSU, one of them is here at Andy, I would like to recognize you and say thank you for your amazing service. Marin and Jana, so three students and myself, began the services at a very grassroots level in a little place called La Familia. And today, here we are almost a year later, and I'm very happy to report that the program is thriving and that we're doing better than ever. Si se puede. Thank you.
I'd like to invite Sue Ferguson up while I make my presentation. Thank you. I'm Susan Mathry. I'm part of the HRC. Uh, Sue was brought to our attention and nominated for this award because of her tireless efforts to ensure greater equi equity and inclusivity in the community by the work by working with immigrants, underserved populations, and underserved and underpaid populations of Fort Collins. This dedication has culminated in her most recent work as a leader and organizer of the Sanctuary Church designation for Foothills Unitarian Church. Sue served for over 30 years in the nonprofit world. She was executive director of both the Women's Center and the United Way of Fort Collins. She has also worked with the Girl Scouts of the USA locally, nationally, and internationally. In 2011, Sue helped launch the group that created Faith Family Hospitality for Fort Collins and chaired the board of directors for a number of years. Faith Family Hospitality is a collaborative effort by churches in Fort Collins to house homeless families in their church facilities for a week at a time. Sue continues to participate on a regular basis with family, Faith Family Hospitality at his church. Sue has done her work quietly and in a self-effacing and low-key way. We would like to honor Sue today for the amazing work she has accomplished within our community and for the many lives she has touched along the way. She has had tremendous impact within our community and her effort will continue to be felt for many years to come. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I'm incredibly honored to receive this. Um, but it's been my privilege to live in such an amazing community for all these years. And um, particularly, I, I always enjoyed having um, my work, my paid work, be work where my heart was. And to be able to work with girls and Girl Scouting, with United Way, and with the Women's Center. But in retirement, it's been even more fun to be able to go in the directions that I want to go. Uh, because I think those of us who are privileged to live here, and those of us who have money, we figure out ways to make the system work for us. And those who don't, those who are on the margins of our society, our children, undocumented immigrants, families experiencing homelessness, they need someone to speak up for them. And I just always like to be a part of that chorus, saying, let's pay attention. Let's make sure that this is a special place for all of us. So thank you very much for this honor. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jimena Breton. The HRC awards are for those who go beyond the call of duty to address and help solve society's problems. Many of these problems reflect aspects of our human humanity that we as humans are not proud of. If you or anyone you love has ever suffered from child abuse, you know that it is a devastating and horrific trauma of which takes much courage and strength to recover. We are fortunate that there are individuals who have dedicated their entire lives to care for victims of child abuse and walk them through a path of recovery. Individuals who have formed great organizations to provide a space for healing and love. Child Safe was founded out founded out of a need for a comprehensive, community-based response to se child sexual abuse. The organization began with 10 victims and has since grown their capacity to serve over 800 people every year. Please join me in giving gratitude to, to the organization award recipient, Child Safe. Sure. Hi, I'm Lisa Papa. I'm the executive director of Child Safe. Um, this is a truly an honor. As a former um, HRC member, this is this is fantastic. So thank you for all the work that you guys do, and for recognizing the work that we do at Child Safe. Um, child sexual abuse is not something that people want to talk about. Um, I've had people say to me, "I will pay you not to tell me anything about what you do at work." Um, so the, the staff truly deserves this, this honor and this award, as well as the courageous uh, clients that we see every single day. Um, and I have a couple of board members here today as well, and thank you for your dedication to, to our organization. Thank you. It's 
So, where is he? Lieutenant Jeremy Yance, would you come up here, please? Good evening. I'm Colleen Conway. I'm a commissioner on the Human Relations Commission. It is my privilege to present the award for police and emergency services category this year to Lieutenant Jeremy Yance. It is always difficult for the HRC to select the one standout nominee for this category. We look for those who not only excel in their profession, but who shine in their service to those in our community who are often the unseen. Lieutenant Yance is not only a skilled police officer, but a community leader and a bridge builder, supporting partnerships within the community, producing results that make us safer, stronger, and more inclusive. Some of the more recent initiatives that Lieutenant Yance has either partnered with or initiated. After someone passed an article onto him regarding a successful program in another city, struggling with some of the same issues that Fort Collins was experiencing and liking the concept he used, Lieutenant Yance recruited some partners and initiated a task force that created Outreach Fort Collins, a street level program that seeks to maintain the safety and vibrancy of downtown Fort Collins by connecting highly vulnerable individuals, such as those experiencing homelessness, to supportive services. He continues to serve this organization by sitting on the board of directors of Outreach Fort Collins. He is a member of the Explorer team, which supports youth who want to pursue careers in law enforcement. Jeremy himself was introduced to law enforcement through an Explorer team experience. He also oversees the Police Auxiliary Unit, which is the Adult Police Volunteer Program. He runs the city's field training officer program and serves on the FTO board of the state of Colorado. Why is this important? Because this program introduces new officers to hands-on community policing practices in the Fort Collins way, which is different than other cities, after their initial intensive training. He has for several years been the Fort Collins Police Services lead at the annual community welcome event, a partnership between the city of Fort Collins and Colorado State University that aims to forge connections between new students and long-term residents. Second page. <laughs> he implemented Downtown After Dark, a community policing program that through partnerships with city, CSU, and local business improves downtown safety. Those who know Jeremy well tell me that perhaps his greatest skill is in his ability to not only listen, but to actually hear those community members, youth, and stakeholders that he works with. Thank you, Lieutenant Jeremy Yance, for your service to you, our youth and those most vulnerable in our community. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is an honor. I'm, I'm truly humbled. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank uh, David Root for, for the nomination. Uh, he's the executive director for Homeless Gear and the Murphy Center. Um, we've sat together on a board for three years now, I think, or a group that, that started just as a working group to um, create Outreach Fort Collins. But um, I, I, I feel like I really can't take credit for, for these, all these things um, because What's so amazing about this community, and I'm going to use that board as an example, that was a diverse group of people um, because it's a, a, a very um, sensitive topic. Uh, and uh, there was a lot of folks, if you think of David and I and probably kind of opposite ends of the spectrums in terms of our, uh, the, our, our professions in that area um, of addressing homelessness and those types of things. But everyone on that board, um, and this is true of just everything in this community and why I love working for this um, community and for this uh, city organization. Um, is everyone comes and listens and truly appreciates each other's perspectives um, and is uh, wanting to help others accomplish their goals, um, even if it isn't necessarily our opinion on something. And so that's really the success behind all of those things and um, what I love about this community and why I'm going to be here till Darren kicks me out someday. <laughs> Thank you very much. And just one more uh, recognition, a round of applause. Thank you all for being here uh, and all the recipients. So just one more moment to thank everybody, council members and city staffers and commission members. So thank you all. Uh, I'd like to uh, bring back, uh, you want to come back up and speak for a little bit? Vic Smith. Would the five award recipients come forward, please? 
we need a photo op of all of you with your plaque, your piece of art, I think. Just come on over and... <laughs> you know, I think we should change it and do the... It's all right. Rearrange that. I think that's good. Oh, there's really some organizing going on here. Press pools here. While you're snapping photos, I'd like to say that um, all of you are invited to stay. At 5.30, there will be a proclamation, and it's the Human Rights Proclamation that uh, Pro, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Horak will read. Uh, so you're welcome to stay for that. And we'd especially like all of you to stay, because you represent that, I think. We are fortunate for many reasons, not the least of which to be in Fort Collins with an amazing group of people who strive to make our community always better. We celebrate your commitment, your dedication, your accomplishments. We honor you as you encourage us to take advantage of opportunities to promote respect and dignity for all. We count on you to help us remember to shed intolerance and adopt acceptance, blame less, and look more within ourselves. Avoid exclusion as we work toward equity and inclusion. And finally, to take risks by trying to understand unfamiliar and diverse points of view. Thank all of you, thanks to all of you, for your example and your lead in this field. Thank you so much. Thank thanks to all of you for coming.